Hi, welcome back to another Brit Tries Samples. Today we are trying the Glow and Nourishing Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Cream by Vanilla Company. Um, I had to look up everything about it because it is a sample that includes no information. I mean, it has information on it, but it's in Korean and it doesn't look like it has an ingredients list necessarily on it either. I can't read Korean, but that doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot of information. I could be wrong. I don't know. Again, I don't read Korean. Moving on. This is supposed to be like an intensely hydrating, intensely nourishing cream using a lot of honey, the power of honey. Uh, honey extract is the first ingredient. Um, I had to look this up and find it on Ulta. It came in a yes style thing, but I just googled it and found it on Ulta. And it's uh, with the conversion, it's around $53 for uh, 50 milliliters of the product. You know, typical price for a typical amount of product. Like it's it's your standard cream, so it depends on like how it functions, uh, whether or not it's going to be really worth it. The thing that kind of sort of put me off a little bit on it, and another reason why I'm doing like one of these with it, because like it did spend a long time in shipping, and it's in this really cute like honeycomb packaging, with which I find adorable. Like this whole honey theme is amazing. I love honey. I personally swear by honey. Sorry to my vegan my vegan pals. Love yous, but I love my honey. The thing that concerns me about this, as I was saying, is the fact that uh, a lot of the ingredients in this are an oil. So, although it does have um, honey extract as the first ingredient, and also what is honey extract? I'm confused as to what honey extract is, but it is the first ingredient in it, so that's something. A lot of the ingredients are oils, and that's something that I'm kind of just like a little bit Okay, well, well, we'll see what happens with that, I guess. I'm gonna use it at night. I did a chemical exfoliation in the morning and a physical exfoliation in the evening. So I'm ready for some intense hydration, which is what this offers. I'm trying to come off of memory, but it's got niacinamide in it and, um, you know, glycerin. It didn't seem to have like hyaluronic acid or anything very high on, on the list, but it's got like can calendula extract and like like i said a lot of oils like a lot of different kinds of oils which i'm kind of just like okay like not extracts oils intense hydration we'll see what intense hydration means in this instance which is something i feel like i need especially today i did exfoliate like i said and it is dry on top of that so some intense hydration is what is needed today all right you cracked it open All right, we're back. Everything's fine. We're all good. Carry on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. So, if I had to describe it, I'd say it is very similar to wax. Like, I have to get what I can out of it, because again, this is another another sort of skimpy sample. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's one of those a little goes a long way sort of product. But again, it reminds, it's very waxy. It reminds me of like beeswax. Like, <laughs> it's, it's very kind of sort of thick looking, kind of slightly clear. Um, It's, it's a very weird, waxy, balmy texture. Like, as it warms up in my hand, it's changing. Whoa. So, like, like, it's very slightly clear. But, like, when I tell you that this stuff is, like, waxy so i'm wondering like the honey like like look at how tall that'll stand like i'm wondering if the honey element to it is is making it sticky but there's a waxiness to it and as it's warming up in my hand like it's slightly moving around like it's changing it's different okay i better get this on my face before i i totally absorb it into my Okay. 
So, so something I forgot to mention. There's way too much happening right now. <laughs> There's way too much happening right now. Okay, let me just take a second here. The first thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna describe uh, the smell. Okay, the smell. We'll start with the smell. The smell is like baby powder. Fresh. It's like fresh, clean, very like almost like floral baby powder. It's really, really nice actually. However, the reason I want to bring up the scent first is because it's very high on the list of the ingredients. Like, really high. Like, before a lot of the oils, actually. And it- I can- you can- you can tell. Like, as soon as I put it on my face, that initial pause I had was because the fragrance hit me. It smells really powdery. Really, it's got an, an, a slight fruitiness, a floralness. It's a little bit childish, like a little juvenile-ish. It smells like, um, like it makes me think of like a kid's sort of shampoo or a kid's like lotion kind of, like it's very baby powder, very powdery. Like it smells like powder, but it's not bad. Like it's not too bad. Like there's a lot of a honey smell too. Like, you know how honey has a very earthy smell to it? There is definitely that earthy, honey earthiness behind it, but it's not something I dislike necessarily. Okay, so next thing is the texture is unreal. Like, it's so thick and so rich. But leaving it on my skin right now... It advertises itself as an AM and PM, so it's not gonna have any kind of like specific. Just grab my mirror here. It's not gonna have any kind of specific um, pore filling properties, but it feels like it has. Like it's, but that's the thing is it's it's very oily. Like it's an oil based thing. The thing about things that have a lot of oils in, if the oils are well emulsified, and some oils emulsify better than others, but oils, they tend to absorb into the skin, the, the molecular properties of them change. Like coconut oil works like that, where like it'll, when you saponify it, like you're, you're making it into a soap, right? And that's changing it. Everything's shifting here. Sorry. And uh, that's changing it, but it's making it so that it's not, when it's acting as a soap, it's not clogging your pores, so you don't have to worry about the comedogenic effects of coconut oil when it's in soap because it's been saponified. It's no longer possessing those comedogenic effects. So when oils are like in certain skincares, if they're well emulsified, they're not going to be that, you know, that heavy. The smell is really strong like really powerful, extremely powerful. If you have a sensitivity to per perfume and fragrance, I would avoid this, but it's not bad. If you don't and you like a bit of fragrance in your moisturizer, I would go for it. It's, it's really, really fresh and clean, and but powdery, but, but fruity, like a candy, like it's sweet, but not like, vanilla like fruity sweet like a jujube or a gummy bear like it's like a really nice gourmet gummy bear smell it's it's nice but then powdery it's i don't know i can't it's hard to describe it's not something i'm disliking at all it's like as though somebody were to come over to my house and bring their shampoo and they have a different shampoo and now my bathroom smells like their different shampoo you know what i mean i don't know it's it's hard to explain if you know you know it is definitely not something I would call dewy or glowy in any way. It's actually kind of mattifying, if anything. It makes my skin feel very soft, but like as though there's like a primer or something on it, like it feels like, like to touch it with my hands, it feels like it would be good for makeup application, which I'm a bit disappointed about because it is nighttime and I'm about to go to bed, like I'm doing this in my nighttime routine. Um, so the fact that it does say use in day and night and then has this effect on the skin where it is sort of mattifying and priming and stuff, I'm kind of like, 
I wish you would have said that it's more of a nighttime thing. Um, it doesn't necessarily leave my skin feeling super hydrated. It also doesn't necessarily leave my skin feeling super moisturized. It, I might apply another moisturizer actually on top of this. A little bit moisturized, I guess. But like, nothing too crazy. It's definitely, I think, a makeup prep type of product. However, I cannot trust the long-term effectiveness of this product. That is a 30 to 90 day endeavor. I can only test what it feels like, smells like, and could potentially do to makeup throughout the day. And as far as I'm concerned, that's my disclaimer, as far as I'm concerned, it's a daytime mattifying, like sort of, Yeah, it feels very mattifying. My skin feels very smooth. My blackheads look clogged AF, and I just did a um, um, exfoliation routine, so they should not be clogged. Yeah, I kind of regret using it at night. I wish I had used it in the day for makeup prep. It probably would have been a lot better for that, um, but it's not something I'm, I'm hating on, I guess. It's not a super bad product. It's got a lot of oils in it. And the smell is a little bit funky. I don't think I would ever really purchase it. As the smell is fading, it's starting to get a little bit Play-Doh-ish. It's getting more and more juvenile, more and more kid-like as it progresses. The odor changes and it goes younger. It's the Benjamin Button of fragrance. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I don't really have too much to say about this. I'm not really a fan. That's, that's the gonna be the beginning and the end of it for me. Not a fan. Mattifying, smoothing, clogged my pores right after I did a exfoliation routine. So I'm gonna kind of hate on it a little bit for that. And a very strong fragrance, which is a bit weird. Okay, all right. Like I said, thanks for hanging out. Take care. We'll do it a good one.